Hi, I'm Mike, Poke Tips Mike, and today I'm gonna teach you how to get your very own Surfing Pikachu in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Throughout the Pokemon games, Surfing Pikachu has always been a special little novelty Pokemon. Usually you'd have to go to some sort of Pokemon event or do some crazy in-game task to get your hands on a Surfing Pikachu. But in Sword and Shield, it's actually extremely easy to get one of your own. Here's how you do it. So first things first, and the most important thing you're going to need here is the TR for Surf. Now there's two ways you could get TR Surf. The first way is by going through the wild area and looking for the NPCs that will trade you TRs for your Watts. Now if you get lucky enough to find somebody who has the TR for Surf, it's only going to cost you 5,000 Watts, which you can easily get from going around and talking to all the max raid dens that you see. Now the only slightly annoying thing here is these people, their inventory changes every single day, so they might not have the TR for Surf for you. There's seven different people in the wild area that all have a chance of trading you TRs, and on the screen right now I have a guide courtesy of gosunoob.com where all the people that'll trade you TRs are circled in purple. Now the other way that you could get the TR for Surf in this game is by doing max raid battles against water type Pokemon. From my own personal experience, most 4 and 5 star water type raid bosses will drop Surf guaranteed. So if you're trying to get the TR for Surf this way, look for raid battles that start near the water. Now once you have the TR for Surf, the hard part is over. Now all you need is a Pikachu. If you don't already have a Pikachu, you could easily go to Route 4 and catch one. If you're playing Pokemon Sword version, you have a 5% chance of seeing one spawn in the overworld, and if you're playing Pokemon Shield version, you only have a 1% chance, and this might take you a little while. But once you catch your Pikachu, you're all set and it will be able to learn Surf. Now the cool thing is, any Pikachu you have will be able to get transformed into a Surfing Pikachu. If you have just this regular Pikachu from Route 4, that can work. If you have a Shiny Pikachu, that'll work. If you have a Gigantamax Pikachu that you get from having Let's Go save data, that'll work too. Whatever Pikachu you have, you can make it into a Surfing Pikachu. So here we just caught our Pikachu on Route 4, and now all we have to do, this is really, really simple, is go ahead and teach it the TR for Surf. So you'll see down here it says Can Learn, and this is kind of different. Now Surf was a TM and HM in other games, but Pikachu could never learn it that way. In Sword and Shield though, as you can see right here, bada bing, bada boom, we just taught our Pikachu Surf, just like that. Now let's get into a battle with a random wild Pokemon over here. Oh my god, I can't get this thing. There we go. Let's get into a battle with this Yamper over here, and let's test out and see what it looks like using Surf in Sword and Shield. Alright, Pikachu use Surf! And there we go. Now I'm kind of disappointed this thing doesn't have a little surfboard. In other games like the Stadium Games, Pokemon Battle Revolution, it got its own special little surfboard animation when it used Surf. But in Sword and Shield, we're not seeing that. And now just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and Dynamax my Pikachu over here. And we're going to go for Max Geyser, the Max Water type move, and see what that looks like coming from Pikachu. Now I would never normally recommend using a Water type move against a Raid Boss Gyarados. That's just kind of silly, but we got to do it for the science. Alright, and that actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would on a Pokemon that resists it. Also, Pichu and Raichu can both now learn Surf from the TR as well, so if you want a Surfing Raichu, you could get that just as easily. And look, there we go, we beat this 4-star Gyarados, and we got another TR for Surf. So if you want to get one of these TRs, definitely go for those 4-star, 5-star raid bosses. You have a very high chance of getting one. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little guide on how to get yourself your very own Surfing Pikachu in Pokemon Sword and Shield. If this guide helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content, follow me on Instagram at PokeTipsMike, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.